Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome to another insane game between the super engines. Uh, Stockfish as black and Lila Chess Zero as white and the game was played during the super final uh, of Top Chess Engines Championship Season 18. Uh, season 17 uh, was won by Lila Chess Zero and Season 18 was won by uh, Stockfish. However, the engine produced a couple of very beautiful games. I show you one of the games uh, and if you haven't seen that, check over there because that game was insane and this one is even better so without further ado let's see what just happened on the board first nine moves were prearranged let me show you d4 knight on f6 c4 e6 knight f3 and now bishop on b4 bogo indian defense and now the knight instead of going to c3 uh, knight b on d2 uh, and now castle by black, a3 kicking the, the bishop and instead of taking the knight, bishop retreat to e7. Uh, the point is uh, of this opening e4 and white gonna have very beautiful center, d5 attacking in the center and now e5, knight f on d7. So the structure is very very similar uh, to French defense and to the Steinitz variation where the bishop can come to, to d3 and creates very very strong attack however uh, black already castle so uh, the position is well known and uh, and it's very dangerous for black and the game can be very very sharp uh, because now we have bishop on d3 and now c5 so uh, what black got it's not really stable uh, white center this is this this game gonna be very sharp and h4 so this comes from the book and the position was played you know over 100 times also on the top levels so Ding Liren played that as white uh, Anish Giri played this as white and many other uh, top players uh, and now there are uh, two ways of, of dealing with the threat of bishop on h7 uh, g6 on h or h6 so these two moves are playable uh, of course if you play any other moves then the problem is bishop on h7 okay and after king on h7 knight g5 uh, queen gonna join on on h5 and uh, of course if the if the bishop takes on g5 uh, then we're gonna have the rook on the open file. So that is the problem. Now, uh, if h6 is played, uh, then the, the line looks like that. Bishop on b1, this is the main line. And after c takes on d4, uh, c takes on d5, e takes on d5, queen c2 with the threat of checkmate threat, okay? Uh, and after f5, knight on b3, putting the pressure on d4, knight on c6, and bishop f4, defending the pawn on e5. And as you see, white for now has the has the king still in the center. Uh, this pawn structure is, is, is pretty crazy and... Uh, and it's it's very very interesting and sharp opening. Uh, Stockfish choose the the move g6, which actually inviting h5, uh, and it's the, actually the main move of this of of this opening. So h5 could be played, but it was not played by Lila Chess Zero. But I will show you uh, what's going on after after h5. So for example, c takes on d4. Uh, this is the main idea. Queen on c2. And now uh, this is pretty pretty interesting sacrifice on g6. So uh, black usually play knight on c5, uh, attacking the bishop. Uh, and white could try to play something like bishop on f1, uh, kick the knight uh, and then bring the, the bishop back. The problem is there is no time for that because uh, a5 can be played and also d3 can be played. Uh, so this knight is, is, is pretty strong over here. So usually c takes on d5, uh, knight on d3, queen on d3, queen on d5, uh, and after knight on e4, the game can continue. It's very sharp. Uh, the bishop can come to h6. This knight in the right moment can also jump to f6. Uh, the h file can be opened. Uh, all of this is very, very sharp. However, believe me or not, 
Lila Chess Zero played something completely unexpected and feel free actually to pause the video and find the move you would not expect uh, to play in this position while I enjoy my cup of tea. Lila Chess Zero in this position played Castle. Yeah. Th this is this is the move by Lila Chess Zero. The pawn is under attack twice, so literally is sacrificing the pawn. Uh, and also, this pawn doesn't have the support on the on the H file with the rook behind anymore. So here is the problem. Now, uh, what will happen if Bishop on H4 is played immediately? For example, C takes on D5, E takes on D5, Knight H4, a Queen H4, Knight F3 attacking the queen and also defending the, the d4 otherwise the queen could could take it queen on g4 bishop on e2 uh, bringing extra defender to the uh, to the pawn uh, and now for example after knight on c6 d takes on c5 knight c5 bishop e3 uh, this pawn can be very annoying in some of the variations here. So uh, knight on e6 always good move and knight on h2. So the queen has to be moved. Queen on h4, g3 now. Uh, and after queen on e7, look at this. Knight g4 and again uh, the knight can jump to, to f6. The bishop can, can go to h6. The king g2 uh, and this attack can be just devastating. So exchanging the dark square bishop uh, after move g6 is usually not the greatest idea uh, because all the dark squares gonna be gonna be very very weak so we have knight on c6 by stockfish and now knight on b3 by lila chess zero putting the pressure on c5 and also defending d4 uh, as you already know uh, this pawn is is very often attacked by by black so just put the knight in the right place and here stockfish actually uh, grabs the pawn on h4 very interesting and lila doesn't care about that at for, for now and plays first bishop on h6 with check we have rook on e8 and now rook on e1 c takes on d4 and now what would you play as white because for example you cannot take this this pawn okay this is the problem because after exchanging the knights uh, black actually has a very nice tactic bishop on f2 and after king on f2 queen on h4 attacking the bishop attacking the the knight and of course uh uh, checking the king so after king on g1 queen on d4 uh, and also uh, black just gonna win three pawns so three extra pawns of course is uh, enough to to win the game what was played between the the human actually was rook on c1 so this was already played uh, and after bishop on e7 queen on d2 so this idea was played by human uh, and then f6 uh, very thematic, uh, attacking this annoying pawn on e5, which is which is always always very annoying. So e takes on f6, knight on f6, and believe me or not, but black actually managed to win that game. Uh, even the the you know white player was the grandmaster, uh, 200 points you know uh, higher than than the 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 player playing black. So uh, very interesting. Uh, this was played by human already. However, Lila Chess Zero play Queen on C2, so this is kind of novelty, and it's very very nice move. Now the idea is to to prevent F6 and prevent B6. Now you would ask how it's preventing because uh, after F6 we would have Bishop on G6, and of course uh, the Bishop cannot be taken because the Queen can take on G6 and win the game. Uh, this is completely, of course, winning. Uh, and also b6 is not possible because after c takes on d5, this knight is hanging, okay? So uh, you cannot just take the pawn and, uh, and lose the knight. 
So very nice move, queen on c2 by, by Lila chess 0 and now we have d takes on c4, distracting the, the bishop, bishop on c4, so now it's not on this diagonal, so any moves like f6 maybe in the future are possible, and now knight on b6 attacking the bishop. We have rook a on d1 by Lila chess 0 and now bishop on d7 developing the bishop and here the move recommended by the engine, by Stockfish of course, uh, is knight b on d4 and this is a pretty, pretty good move, uh, getting back some uh, material and the position is completely equal, maybe even with the slight advantage of white. However, Lila chess 0 completely disagree uh, and play knight on c5 and Stockfish doesn't care about the b7 pawn and goes for rook on c8. The idea is to put the rook on the same open file with the queen, which can be very dangerous. We have b4 defending the, the knight over protecting and now knight on c4, so there are less and less uh, pieces on the on the open file. We have queen on c4 and now bishop on e7 attacking the knight. And what would you play as white if you think, you know, if you want to find the Lila's move? Uh, probably not knight on b7. Knight on b7 uh, actually is a very good move because after knight on b7 the queen is under attack and queen on c7, knight c5 winning that pawn and also this pawn gonna uh, fall pretty soon so definitely this is good move also uh, knight on d4 is also possible for example knight on d4 and rook on d4 so uh, b6 is not the threat because the rook can take on d7 uh, so very sharp line and very good lines however lila chess 0 goes for something uh, completely unorthodox knight on e4 uh, looking at d6 and also looking at f6 uh, and now uh, you have already chance for making uh, some discovery uh, what would you play as black now uh, if you try something like knight on e5, this is actually losing move because after queen on d4, the problem is there is a checkmate on g7. You can um, go for uh, knight on f3, g takes on f3, you can play f6, but there is not only the checkmate here, but also the battery uh, watching at, at, the, at the bishop. So this is completely uh, winning for, for white. So this discovery is not the great. Uh, what black could try actually is a5. a5, this move maybe you're not gonna understand why, uh, but this would prevent white of playing the, the another move, which, which you will see why. Uh, the problem is white here can play simply b5 and after knight on b4 with the attack on the queen, queen can take on d4 uh, and after knight on c2, uh, queen d7. Okay, so uh, knight on e1 and, and yeah, uh, white gonna have two pieces, two knights, for the rook and maybe one pawn, so uh, why this it's, it's better here. So Stockfish goes for knight on b4 immediately with the discover attack on the on the queen. And now uh, queen on d4 of course could be played, uh, but th this knight don't need to go to, to c2 and play with the two pieces against the rook. Knight on d5 is, is pretty strong here, uh, and after let's say knight on d6, bishop on d6, e takes on d6, this is a uh, checkmate on the board, so probably f6. Knight g5, the position is very, very sharp and interesting, uh, and definitely it could be played. However, it's not clear uh, how white actually could go break through uh, and win the, the game, but definitely it's a, it's a very interesting uh, position. However, believe me or not, Lila Chess 0 didn't go for the pawn, but for the knight. So sacrificing the queen, queen on b4, what the move? And Stockfish is so happy about the evaluation, says, hey, I have winning position. Uh, Lila didn't agree with that. And after bishop on b4, a takes on b4, uh, Stockfish started to think, okay, maybe that's not exactly the winning position. So what just happened? Uh, black actually have the queen and three pawns for these two knights uh, and what white has any compensation for that? Uh, weak 
squares dark squares are completely weak black actually exchanged the dark square bishop which is very very important in this position however it's still not clear how to win uh stockfish rook on c4 this is one of the the main ideas here and after knight on f6 we check king on h8 knight g5 and this knight can jump to f7 uh, and that would be a checkmate because the bishop controls uh, g7 and also the knight controls g8 so this is pretty dangerous position so probably rook on e7 or queen on e7 there are a lot of options here i will show you just two interesting lines so rook on e7 uh, and the point is rook d3 with the idea of rook on h3 uh, and mating uh, there are some mating ideas here which i'm gonna show you so for example queen on b6 uh, rook on h3 and now queen on b4 uh, rook on f1 as the as the rook is under attack so rook on f1 and now rook c3 harassing this rook but it can be uh, very easily defended g3 and now whatever white play doesn't really matter bishop on b5 with the attack on the, on the rook doesn't matter because knight g on e4 uh, it's it's just winning because now uh, we have bishop on f8 this is the plan and now rook on h7 that would be a checkmate so if you want to control the the eight rank for example with the with the rook on c8 the problem is bishop can come to d3 threaten the checkmate and also win the queen so uh maybe rook on e8 for the same reason it doesn't work bishop on f8 and this is a checkmate threat and also attack on the queen so two threats at once uh, h5 and now bishop on b4 and white actually has uh, two knights for for three pawns so that's uh, definitely winning uh, and also if you try something else let's let's see other uh, variations queen on e7 defending uh, f7 then still the same rook on d3 bishop a4 rook on h3 and it's still the the idea of taking the the pawn on h7 open the h file uh, and win the game so for example now d3 knight g on h7 uh, rook on d8 supporting the pawn the march of the pawn but now uh, it's actually forced mate knight on f8 knight on f8 uh, queen on b4 with the idea of uh, blocking the rook but it doesn't help and actually this is the forced checkmate in four so feel free to pause the video and find uh, you know this is very nice tactic uh, very nice pattern so you actually can can try to find uh, while i enjoy my cup of tea so uh, there are two options uh, first is knight on g6 and after taking the the pawn the bishop goes to to f4 this is one idea or another bishop on f4 first and after king on g7 as the king is is, is checked then knight on e6 knight on e6 and now f takes on e6 so we have the same position uh, if we play uh, knight on 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 g6 that would be the same rook h7 and now this is a checkmate as the knight controls this squares and the rook also controls all of the rest so that would be a checkmate so as you see uh, rook on c4 can be very very dangerous and these are just couple of lines but a lot of them actually uh, winning for white uh, stockfish instead play f5 uh, and now we have knight f6 with the attack on the on the bishop and with check which is more important uh, and now we have king on h8 king on uh, f7 also could be played uh, but but then this pawn would be without protection so uh, we have king on h8 and now rook on d4 attacking the bishop and the bishop is pinned so rook on c7 defending rook e on d1 putting more pressure and now rook on e7 uh, we have b5 uh, 
maybe threatening b6 so stockfish stops that b6 and now king on h2 very precise move not giving stockfish any any chances for example in the future uh, to deliver a check on the on the first rank uh, we have rook on b7 so stockfish is in Zugzwang, doesn't have any moves so uh, have to make the the moves like this rook on b7 and now knight on g5 so bringing the knights uh, to put the pressure on h7 we have queen on c8 unpinning uh, and now just rook from the first rank to d2 waiting for stockfish and I, I i don't know laughing at stockfish hey you don't have any moves rook on c7 and now rook on d6 uh, rook on b7 rook from the second rank to d4 and it looks like uh lila chess zero actually wants to bring the the rook and we already know uh, how to deliver this attack however after rook on c7 we have rook on d1 so um, dancing of this of these pieces and now rook on b7 rook from the sixth rank to d4 so maybe lila found some other ideas here rook on c7 but not f4 solidifying this position uh, and uh, and what now rook on b7 because stockfish uh, truly doesn't have any moves and now finally knight on e6 so sacrificing this knight however uh, you can't really uh, easily take it for example if bishop takes on e6 then rook on d8 you cannot take the rook because that would be a checkmate so uh, probably rook on e8 but now knight on e8 uh, and you're gonna get checkmated anyway so uh, for example this way so you have to run with the king king on g8 uh, and after rook on c8 bishop on c8 still rook d8 uh, and the knight gonna come to to d6 and that's gonna be a checkmate anyway so king on f7 but you're gonna lose more material uh, also knight on d7 is coming so uh, this is all just just lost king on e6 at least you didn't get checkmated so that's not possible so uh bishop on e8 was was another possibility but it also doesn't work uh, as knight can just retreat to g5 uh, and even if black tried to exchange all the pieces rook beyond d7 then simply rook on d7 bishop on d7 and now rook on d7 rook on d7 and now e6 e6 look at this black has the queen and the rook uh, and white has only these three pieces and black cannot do much about that okay the king is very very safe so there are no checks over here uh, as i said so whatever black play is actually winning so for example rook on e7 knight f7 and that would be a checkmate so rook f7 e f7 uh, and after doesn't really matter what moves uh, white is winning with two extra pieces so definitely uh, is also not possible so stockfish tries rook on e6 but now we have knight on d7 and what to play now uh, stockfish decided to bring the king to the game so king on g8 knight on f6 king on f7 and now rook on d8 harassing the queen queen on c5 as you see uh it comes without the check so a uh, very safe square for the for the king uh, and now knight h7 knight h7 with the idea with the mating idea of of g5 so for example if you play something like a5 knight g5 you would have uh you would got checkmated with the bishop here okay this is a checkmate all of the squares are, are of course controlled by uh, by the pawn or by the rooks and uh, and that would be a checkmate so uh rook on e8 by stockfish but now e6 e6 sacrificing this uh, this pawn we have rook on e6 and now knight g5 with check very nice fork however uh it doesn't really matter because now king f6 rook f8 rook f8 and now uh, you have actually two options you can you can move uh, king on e7 you can also go rook on f7 but that would be a checkmate so you cannot play that uh, king on e7 the problem is 
rook on f7 and you give up the the rook for free so uh, king on e8 you lose the rook uh, and after let's say rook d6 trying to exchange the rooks uh, white don't need to do that because rook e1 king on d8 and now uh, knight f7 with this fork uh, so king on c8 uh, knight d6 uh, and this is just uh, winning for white with extra material with extra bishop of course that is winning uh, so stockfish decided to uh, give the queen for the rook uh, just to save the pair of rooks we have queen on f8 bishop on f8 uh, and now rook on c7 and here lila chess zero laughing again at stockfish uh, and plays rook on d4 and the point is these rooks actually cannot move this rook has to stay on the seven rank and this rook has to stay on the on the six rank they cannot move because if rook on c2 then actually rook d7 and then checkmate is delivered in the next move so uh, this would be a checkmate uh, and if this rook moves then the same idea uh, but this way okay so this is also a checkmate beautiful cooperation of the of the knight and the and the rook so uh, stockfish just play rook on b7 we have king on g3 rook on c7 uh, rook on d3, rook on b7, king on h4, uh, rook on c7 and actually lila chess 0 could just take this this rook and 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 play king on g5 and uh, and win the game this is of course possible with one extra bishop that's not the problem uh, probably every human would do that but not lila chess 0 uh, we have king on g3 and now finally uh we have rook on c4 so moving moving the rook uh but as i said it doesn't really matter uh finally lila chess zero probably would just take this and and win the game uh we have rook on c4 now of course rook on d7 so uh checkmate is coming uh rook on e3 with check king on f2 rook f4 uh, removing the defender of the knight however after king on e3 uh the knight actually cannot be taken because after bishop on h6 wins the rook and uh, even you take it then uh, white gonna have extra rook so that's that's winning so stockfish uh, played rook on a4 but after bishop on e7 defending the the knight king e5 uh, king on f3 uh, resign so uh, lila chess zero won beautiful queen sacrifice and some of the grandmasters said actually that was the immortal queen sacrificed by the engine indeed very beautiful one and if you like it press like if for some reason you didn't like it press unlike and uh, and yeah if you don't want to miss any other quality content press subscribe smash the bell button thanks for watching and see you in the next one